nation's 50 running scandals. Mm, Bush. Number three, voter suppression gate. Government voter suppression gate. Mr. Bush's acting director of the Federal Office of Personnel Management, Michael Hager, advised of likely long lines at voting places in the district and Virginia and Maryland, and asked by one Virginia Republican congressman and one Virginia Democratic congressman to extend excused absences for voting for all federal employees yesterday by two additional hours. Refused. Nothing like the federal government being the role model for employers in a participatory democracy. Number two, high school musical gate. Addressing the president's 26% approval rating, Press Secretary Dana Perino actually says, quote, Everybody would like to be popular. You can all remember that back in high school, everyone really wanted to be popular. Some of us just weren't. But that doesn't mean that you don't have principles and values that you stay true to. Aw, uh, don't be telling me this. Don't be telling me the last eight years were all because he wasn't as popular in high school as he thought he should have been, or that you weren't. I mean, if it's that, we could have all chipped in for him to get a live-in shrink. And number one, swimming with the sharks, Gate, the administration's final three months could easily be consumed by fights over environmental protection between the vice president and the first lady. The Washington Post says Mrs. Bush has already asked for two briefings from White House staff, has met with scientists in hopes of creating marine conservation management areas in the northern Mariana Islands, that U.S. Commonwealth situated between Guam and Japan. If established, it would halt international hunting of blue sharks in the area. Vice President Cheney is fighting the First Lady, saying that banning the shark hunting will hurt the region's economy. Despite the Vice President's reputation as a hunter, one might think that he would, in this instance, side with the shark, since it is his closest relative in the wild.